everybody? Steven here for Off The Shelf Movie Night with a quick update for you on some cool physical media. If you're a physical media collector, you buy and own... Um, I guess if you bought it, you did own it, right? So I don't know why I say it like that. But um, if you're a collector of physical media, you like m your movies and TV shows and concert videos and that kind of thing on a piece of media that you can own and watch at your leisure, you're in the right spot. If you haven't subbed me up, please do so because I'd love to have conversation with you about your collection, what I'm picking up, and the whole thing. Uh, if you like what you see here in this video, uh, a like and a share would be really appreciated because it really helps get the word out about what we're doing. So it's a quick video. Just wanted to share something that just came in today uh, and talk about it for just a second. So let's set this up. This uh, particular movie, I Spit on Your Grave, this comes from Ronin Flicks. They put out this beautiful set. I was so excited to buy it. I paid the premium price. I paid fully $60 for it. I think it might have dropped just a little bit. It's in the 50s now, as, as I last checked. Um, but I was fine to do that. I was fine to be an early adopter because this movie is uh, one that has, ever since I've been a film critic, you know, someone who really paid attention to film, this one has always been in my top 10 grindhouse films and my top 10 most disturbing films of all time. Um, it's it's on some major lists. So to get this one in this uh, pristine version was a real thrill for me. It has uh, the original film. It has uh, the direct sequel made a few years ago, which is not good, but for archive purposes and, and, you know, for the history of it is great to have. And more importantly, it has a feature documentary made by the director's son about that original film. Okay? So it's it's a pretty complete library quality set. It's got the nice, solid... This is uh, as good as anything you can get from Arrow Video. So I picked it up. I loved it, as did most other people who picked this up. And then it seemed like within a few months, uh, Ronin Flix announced a 4K. Now, here's the problem. <sighs> or here's the situation. Let's put it that way. This is a very common path to upgrading that, um, is, you know, is, is just, it's the way it's done in physical media. It was done this way in Blu-ray a lot, especially with a smaller boutique company. They'll put something out in the current format to gauge interest. Is there enough interest in this to to make it worth going the full premium route, which at that time would have been going Blu-ray and now is going 4K? So they put it out and they sort of gauged what to do next based off early adoption. You know, so us early adopters pay the price. So they put this out. This happens to us all the time, and we get pissed every time, but we're suckers for it. It happens a lot. Screen Factory is very bad about doing this. Now, what I'm here to talk about is what Ronin Flix did, which I hope and pray would be a model for the future. So I got an email from Ronin Flix that said, we appreciated your purchase of I Spit on Your Grave. They also put it out in, in their social media. If you previously bought I Spit on Your Grave and you could share your receipt with us, your proof of purchase, which, you know, buying digitally is pretty easy to go back, especially if you're like me and you pay with PayPal a lot of times easy to go back and find that transaction we will sell you an upgrade disc a 4k upgrade disc for twenty dollars so downside in total that means i've spent eighty dollars on this set but the alternative is to go and spend another yeah, i think it's more than sixty dollars sixty or seventy dollars on rebuying this set so i was very excited to see what did they send me you know, a lot of times these companies will send you um, basically a disc in an envelope. Um, you know, that's what I got for the Demons f uh, 4K when it came out that there was an issue with it. They sent me in, in a, actually in a jewel case just the disc to replace in my set. And that's fine. I was fine with that. But this is what Ronin Flix has sent me. They sent me the full retail packaging. For my, for my $20 invest upgrade price. Now, here's the, the reality of this situation is this, that um, they will probably have this, even as we speak, they may already have this, for $27.99 or $34.99, something like that. Um, Ronin Flix tends to be a little higher than other boutiques because they're smaller, and you know they, they their margins, are I guess, are tighter. Um, 
the 4K package that they put out was missing stuff, though. It didn't have everything that this one had. I think they dropped some things to make it a little more affordable, maybe. I'm not sure. So I was definitely keeping this set. So now I have this. I, I was not anticipating this, you guys. I'm so happy to have the actual retail package. Another thing I'm very happy about from Ronin, from Ronin Flix is they didn't go black case. They didn't go with the black case. I think the clear cases are much more sophisticated looking, much more boutique looking. Let's open it up. Um, they just, what they did is, uh, you know, they gave us the little banner at the top of the artwork, the 4K banner, and I'm okay with that. Um, I don't prefer it. I think we've had 4K long enough that we could just do, you know, a little gold 4K logo on the bottom corner or something kind of sophisticated, but I'm okay with this. It's, I still have the clear case. So on the inside, we still have the same reversible artwork. We just have a 4K disc now. You guys, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with this. Now, yeah, I spent 80 bucks in total. But now I can simply pull out this one and replace with this one. Bam! And now we have the 4K set. Very happy. Now then I can take this Blu-ray and then turn around and flip it on the second-hand market to people who don't care about 4K. Because it's a great Blu-ray. It's still very beautiful. A restoration. There are a couple of bumps in the road in this restoration that I'm really interested to see if they handle those with the 4K. Um, but I'll let you guys know about that later. All right, that's all I got. I just wanted to share this pickup with you. Um, I hope you're having, having a great holiday season. Let me know in the comments if you're picking cool stuff up for Cyber Monday. As I record this, this is Cyber Monday. Uh, until next we meet, pull something cool off the shelf. Share it with your friends and family and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV. I'll see you guys on the next one.